Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Freerun Season 1, Episode 18, I think. I think so. Yes. First class first class mage exam. We're entering the city of magic, and there's plenty of magic ahead of us and to behold and all that stuff. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Let's check out this exam, see what Fern, and I guess Free Ren. This is gonna be exactly like in One Punch Man when fucking Saitama and Genos go, and then, but I I wonder, well, in, in One Punch Man, I guess minor spoilers for like episode five of One Punch Man, but like Saitama is not a well-read hero, or you know, he doesn't have to think about tactics or sit, you know, the most optimal way to save people or whatever. So he doesn't have, he doesn't know the book learning as well. So he get he like almost fails that and then gets a hundred on the, physical test, but Genos gets like s class. he's like perfect in everything on paper, mm -hmm. even though he gets absolutely destroyed every fight. But in this case, I wonder what, how, what they're gonna do with that. Is Freerun just gonna ace the whole thing? They're probably gonna know about her. They probably have her on file. If there's the elf uh, person at the top, the principal mm -hmm. or the leader of the academy or whatever, I wonder if they're gonna meet them right away or if Freerun's just gonna get her certificate right away or she'll have to demonstrate some stuff, if that'll be used against her maybe, if she mm -hmm. has to like show her hand a little bit that she's like manipulating her, her aura. Hmm. I don't know, but Fern will probably do really well, I imagine. Yeah. But maybe she'll get pissed off because she's not perfect. Maybe she'll think that, because she's so far been like incredible. She's like a top tier mage by all accounts. Yeah. But you know, maybe that definition will expand as we get in and we meet more mages and stuff like that. And we meet more people who have more, you know, different backgrounds and things. Maybe maybe Fern isn't actually as badass as we think she is after mm -hmm. the last like battle in that town with those demons. But there's only one way to find out and that's to watch this episode. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Check out the uncuts on Patreon. Check out the uncuts on Patreon also for the episodes that are not currently available on YouTube. But let's, uh, let's check out this episode. Oh, is that young Flom? I didn't even see that before. Maybe Flom Flom's went here. Away? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said that the first time that we watched the OP. Maybe I did. I think I forgot to talk about it. What if they're just, what if like, could you imagine the story gets set up like in this huge adventure and then the next two seasons is like them in a magic school? <laughs> like they just, oh, oh, I love, I turns out I, I really just wanted to write a magic school story. I just wanted to bait people in. Yeah. With this very mature and interesting take. And then we're just and gonna we're back get to stuck in a school, fucking baby. magic academy for the next 10 years. <laughs> I don't think I have to be. Is that her way of throwing shade? <laughs> and they don't have a priest anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> little ear twitch. He's <laughs> <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Are boobs a factor, apparently? <laughs> like, focuses on Fern when she says talent. Wow. Mm. Mm. I wonder who that elf was. She looks like a villain. Yeah. <laughs> Craft. What? I didn't think we'd see him so soon. No. Damn. Well, I just said we don't have a priest anymore, so mm -hmm. maybe, maybe he can come with us. Yubel. Yubel. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so clearly. <laughs> he was saving the bandits. <laughs> Jesus. I bet she'll pass on some Hisuka shit. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned free rent to this girl. Oh, he's just taking off. Now she'll know, she'll know about free rent a little bit. Although I imagine she would have known. Mm -hmm. Like how many mages in this institution don't it's know only about free administered rent? administered once every three years. <laughs> if we don't have any money, free run. <laughs> we won't be able to afford this convince her instantly. <laughs> it makes her hesitate. That's gotta be worth something here. There's, I mean, there, there's another elf here, so there's someone that's old enough to know. And they have records. Like, yeah. no magical institution is, like, as old as the people that are in it. Mm -hmm. Like, their memory goes beyond that. That's the whole point of a school. Exactly. Unfortunately. <laughs> I bet the the other elf has one. Hmm. Eh, there's just no point. They're really focusing on how like behind the times free run is this episode. Like I think that was the point of all the boob mm. shots with Fern was that like kind of like how last episode they were talking about how she's so grown up now. Mm. Now she just thinks of Fern as just her little girl or whatever, just this little tyke running around, but now she's just like a grown woman. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Instead of walking away being like, you're gonna die soon, <laughs> walks away. She's like... <laughs> yeah, it is nice. It's a small number. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like when there's small numbers of mages. It makes it feel more exclusive and more like it matters. Yeah. Plus, especially since there are people that aren't going to this school and registering as well. Yeah. So there's more people than that. But mm -hmm. but it's not like, oh, there's thousands of mages out there. Like, it's, you know, like, it's just a thing that people can do. It seems <laughs> every year a bunch of people get injured or die. It seems moderately challenging. There are a lot fewer mages these days, apparently. Mm -hmm. Stark's just sleeping. See, it's that must be tied into why the Demon King was trying to kill all of the elves. Hmm. Just slow the advancement of this like arms race of magic. So there used to be all these mages, mm -hmm. and they're attacking like the sword villages. They're just like everything is the Demon King has like slowly been weakening hum like humanity and society's magic knowledge and strength overall over the last thousand years or more. <laughs> Giant <laughs> cake. So many candles. How does this even happen? <laughs> I love their relationship so much. Me too. We're already taking the test. Oh boy. Mm. Oh, he's like a soldier. Hmm. It's the hunter exam. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Mm. Literally Hisuka. Wow. Literally yeah. Hisuka. Who else looks promising? Oh, maybe the legendary warrior, Elf, who is... How do you not know who she is? Like, she... experienced old me. I, do, I love that. How do you not know? I'm... There must, like, unless they're hiding her name, like, she advanced but they, but they magic. But they might not see what she looks like unless they see statues, and even then they're not in color. Either way, like, at a place where it's about learning about magic and the history of magic, it's just very... Ooh. I would not expect them not to know they're scholars in magic, and she's, like, one of the most important magic figures the last 200 years. Hmm. She getting matched up with fucking Hisuka. And those other two. <laughs> Just like all of the people. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hmm. Oh boy. I'm kind of more scared that Fern's involved with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, my life is doomed to revolve around children. <laughs> this is exactly like the fucking hunter exam. It's the it's instead of tags, it's the yeah. it's the birds and it's like actual teams. That's a big difference, but it's still it's like so similar. It's awesome. <laughs> Everybody's gonna start killing each other right now. No, there's no rules against violence. Were there? No. There's the, but the I don't. there's the one that's like known for fucking killing people. Rock, paper, scissors. Look at Free Ren using her parenting skills. <laughs> it's just Hunter, Hunter. He's, they're, they're really coming in with the. Kilua and Gon. Mm -hmm. I figured. It seemed like if you guys didn't know each other, I'd be super weirded out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then she's stronger than she looks. If she's smart enough to know that there's something up with yeah. Free Ren, then she's stronger than she looks. <laughs> okay, now. What did we just say? <laughs> oh! Well... Well, don't hurt it. It's gonna get out. You just made yourselves very aware, oh. and now people are gonna try and steal it. Oh! That's not what They're I thought dangerous. was gonna happen. Holy shit. <laughs> Those must not be ordinary cages. <laughs> she just like saw where it was going and just, all right, this is happening. I guess yeah. well, this has failed. <laughs> if it was really that easy, do you guys think that that would be like the, 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 the level one mage exam? It's so interesting seeing Freer and just like completely out of her element with these other people. It's like, it's like she had like the best and most obedient child of all time and then is now like babysitting someone else's kids that are just an absolute menace. Mm -hmm. I just love, I can't get over the Hunter Hunter vibes from this. Mm -hmm. I just love it so much. 
And of course, Gon wakes up and hears something. Is Shiren making a barrier for the rain? No, there's already a barrier around the whole place. I know, but I didn't know it kept out weather. I think she said even a speck of dust couldn't get in. Mm -mm. <sighs> Shit! Oh my god! Is this a summon from one of the others? I think this is just something that's around. This might- oh! Is that free run? Yeah. Wow. Oh, healed the mark, the thing already. Hmm. <laughs> That's different than Hunter Hunter. So you don't hate her, you're just very conflict sensitive. <laughs> and you just don't respond well to criticism even though it's kind of what you need. <laughs> just force everything up into the barrier and then it's a wall. <laughs> Great episode. So cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the rock that she shot through. I never saw that before. <laughs> Time to fight other mages. Hmm. Love a good hunter exam arc. You gotta love it. I love that they like it's like okay. The reason I'm, I keep coming back to it is because it's very clear that that's a that's an inspiration for mm -hmm. this whole setup, and because it's really funny to see. First of all, it's not just a carbon copy. That's clear. Like, even the Gon Kilua parallel characters here are not car carbon copies of Gon Kilua or their relationship. Yeah. But it is similar. And the similar um, uh, color, like, s styles, and e even, like, the, the, the one girl's wearing shorts. Yeah, the like, green that's, shorts. Like, that, that, that's not, like, a huge thing, but it, it's like what you said. It's and like, a white crop top. It's like, let me copy your homework, but I'll change it a little. Except it's like a... What I like about it is like what you said, that it's clear that there's some inspiration. And it's very clear. the author is not trying to like hide the fact that there is inspiration. It's like, oh it's yeah, like, this is clearly a, a hunter yeah. exam type scenario. We have like this one like evil person who kills people and you're like, how is this person allowed to be here? But they kind of are. And then, uh, you know, we have the, the like two best friends characters one's like blue and the other one's green and mm -hmm. you know they and they're kind of fighting all the time but but unlike Gon and Kilua they're not like uh like Gon and Kilua 
have because I think it's I think this is a case where like gender is a big deal in the characterization because like Gon and Kilua they fight like boys fight where they're just like punching each other and beating each other up and then they're you know they're fine like right after they just kind of scrap every once in a while kind of play fight or serious fight and like ah you don't call don't talk to me like that but it's not it's not a big deal for these guys it's like it's it's a it's you know it's made a conflict kind of in their relationship and the fact that uh, Levine here, who's like the the Kilua parallel, is also like Kilua, stronger and more experienced than Gon, and more confident than Gon. Mm -hmm. um, here, it's uh, it's that, but unlike in you know uh, uh, the I forget what I forget her name because they because okay. they were talking about her the whole time, but I, so they said her name a lot, Levine, but I forget her name. Um, but uh, the Gon parallel girl is. Um, is is a lot less confident than Gon was. Like Gon, yeah. Gon was a lot more. You know, he had a lot more potential. And clearly, she does have a, have potential, but you know, Gon really responds to like a challenge. Whereas what what the author Freerend is doing with this with the, with you know taking that parallel and putting it into, into their own story is like, what if that character did not respond well to challenge? They had a lot of potential. Um, but they don't respond to like criticism or like, you know, going whenever he makes a big breakthrough, it's always in conflict. It's like, someone's like, you can't do this. And he's just like, uh, yeah, I can, I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the whole point. And if I, if I follow your lead and start thinking I can't do what I want, then I wouldn't be myself and I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything. That's kind of like a big part of Hunter Hunter is like, you know, belief in yourself and, uh, and needing that in order to actually achieve anything that you want to do. So like in in this it's kind of a similar thing, but uh, the character is not ha doesn't have that confidence, doesn't have the the awareness that Gone has. Like Gone, like she she actually it's funny because uh, uh, this girl she did say like oh what's the sound is that rain she was she, was she sniffing as well I forget like I didn't see her sniffing but she was hearing like the rain it's like oh it's the rain so she got woken up by that she is sensitive but she's just not awakened a lot like you know again a parallel to Gone where like. Kilo has a lot more experience and backstory that relating to like combat and things like that and survival. Whereas Gon has like survival experience and some, you know, basic combat experience of living in the forest. But like, um, he doesn't, he's not, he's not as, he, things are, are, you know, they come quickly to him, but he doesn't have as much experience as, as the friend there. So mm -hmm. I just, I just like it. And, and, but what's really interesting about this dynamic is not the small changes that were made. It's the small changes that were made and also adding free rank is like the 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 diff uh, the hu the biggest difference between you know the hunter exams you know when they have the tags and they're on this island and they're kind of like fighting for control over these tags or there's a certain system of like you need to get this and in order to leave and to pass mm -hmm. um you know there's a lot of small differences with like the setup and the different character relationships and the parallels and things like that there's little things but the biggest difference is like free rent is not a carbon copy of or not a carbon copy again. It's, there's different. There's there's material differences that matter that separate it. But like free rent doesn't have a parallel in Hunter Hunter other than unless you want to count like a, like a Netero type. But it's not even like that. Like or like, or in, like free rent at some points. But like it's it's very. It's like much they put different. free rent in this story and like how does how does a presence of free rent like this well rounded very well established different character than anyone in the type of thing that you're that you're kind of emulating mm -hmm. you know what what would happen to this whole dynamic as we you know as we've seen before if we switch things up a little bit and then add this completely new element to this conversation mm -hmm. and uh and free and, and that's what makes it really fresh is like free rent kind of mediating this uh, these disagreements mm -hmm. and in this situation where she is far over qualified for all of this yeah i think it's also really interesting as well having her because she has been a teacher and they even comment they're like wow you're like a good teacher or like a good leader free run and it's funny because she like she didn't sorry i just lost for a second she it's interesting because like i said earlier fern and also stark have they just kind of listen to what she says especially fern like fern is always just eager to like learn the new thing or do this or do that like you know she, she wasn't beating someone up on the side and like being a being a, a little bit of a brat mm -hmm. so then she comes in with these kids and it's just like oh my god this is like a whole new level of humans that i don't know how to deal with but she does know how to deal with it but she just feels extra like whoa this is very new and very different all these emotions of like no i don't like her except that i do like it's like it's the it's the very like 
oh, I don't like this, but at the same time, she really helps me, and I do kind of like her, but I kind of don't. And it's a, you know, very siblings are dating uh, kind of vibe going on. What? I'm, I'm kidding. What like, are you talking like how, about? Like how in Hunter Hunter, uh, it's like you know, the, the, uh, you, you, you don't you don't think you know she's like, oh, you're so cute. Hmm? They're like fighting like they're siblings. Yeah. I I I, I was just. Siblings are, I just, do you want to explain you don't, it you, further? You don't ship them? No, <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Uh, there, I will say though, in relation to that, there's, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot more like of a sexual sort of, like it's not a big thing, like there's not giant titties flying over all over the place, but there's a lot more of a, of like, sort of a sexual presence just mm. in the show in general, this episode more than previously. Because there was obviously, there's this scene with, with Fern, where she like takes a nap on fur and then she's just like, ugh, I could only see half the sky anyway. And it's it's a funny joke, but it's also there's a little bit of a fan service element there. But but the, again, going back to I kind of said it during the episode, but it's like there's the previously where uh, Freeman was treating Fern like a little baby because mm -hmm. that's how she thinks of Fern. But you know, she, Fern has just kind of like with, under, right under her nose grown up into a full person, mm -hmm. and is and is growing into a person. And it makes and they were just talking about how, you know, oh back in my day, you know, mages were like this, and, and a lot of the episode was about like back in my day, magic was studied like this, and you know these these people fought like this, and these this, all this stuff happened in the past, but nobody remembers all that. Um, you know, I'm not, my certification isn't really worth anything because it's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. and this, and, you know, me going to this certification, getting the certification is going to matter because it's, people are just going to forget about it very soon, you know, like mm -hmm. after I get it, like in, in terms of the span of my life, it's not going to, you know, it's, it's going to get me through this gate. It's basically like I got to spend all this time, do this test, fill, file this paperwork so I can get through this gate. Whereas or I can just people, go around the gate. <laughs> where, yeah, whereas, so that's why, like, Free Ren, like, uh, is talking about uh, Fern uh, and, and all the references to her boobs and, and how she's growing up and stuff like that. But also, like, just her relationship to time, not as, like, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's been a, it's been a constant thing. Obviously, it's the, like the setup to the whole story that she's, you know, this old elf and completed her story already. But just the, the... The different, it feels like they put a different spin on it as they're going into this place, as it's more, now we're looking at Free Ren kind of from the outside with her situation a little bit more as time goes on. Like, before it was all, like, and it's still, the story is all about Free Ren learning to be human, exploring the world, sort of taking things in, and we got a little bit of that with, um, with Stark and Fern in relation to the flashback. Mm, yeah. And they were talking about the certification, and then they're like, oh, we well, think you're great. And then she pats her on the head and, you know, doesn't do the thing where she's just dismissive or whatever. But what I was saying was that, um, you know, that whole experience and Freeran's connection is the whole core of the whole story. But as we get into this arc, and we're introduced to a whole ecosystem and a lot more about the history of mages in this world, and et cetera, et cetera, we're getting a lot more of, um, you know, how Free Ren fits into it, not how Free Ren sees it, in a way, is mm. kind of what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. That's kind of interesting. Then we saw Kraft as well. We did see Kraft. I love that. I love how he's like, no, I was just saving those guys' lives. Like, I'm not gonna tell you that you're, like, a crazy murderer, but, like, I wasn't just gonna let you murder those guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's funny, because, um... I, I got kind of, speaking of Hunter Hunter, even before all the Hunter exam stuff sort of came into the story, I got kind of a Netero and Hisuka interview mm. moment where it's just like, Hisuka's just like, oh, I'd like to kill you. That'd be fun. And then Netero was like, huh, okay, so the next question is <laughs> and just unperturbed entirely by, by Hisuka's threats. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> I got the kind of that vibe where like Kraft is clearly... I mean, you know, we've we've heard the stories. He's like crazy powerful, and you know, while this person is clearly freaky, it's not. They're not. You know, they're not on Kraft's level. It'll probably be a fight. I'm sure. You know, fights aren't as simple as like, oh, I'm older mm -hmm. than you, so I'm better. It would probably be a, a sight to behold. But you know, Kraft isn't interested in that. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't. Yeah, I did not think we'd see Kraft. I like the quick reminder of Kraft yeah. as a person and introducing to Yubel well, here who Free Ren is, like a, a sort of offhand mm -hmm. mention. I'm interested as well because we've been theorizing that Kraft is going to meet up with uh, uh, with, with Zine. Zine, and I think that it would be it's cool because 
that girl, I, I don't know, whatever. Yubel. Murder girl. Yubel um, is going one way and then he's going the other way. So that means that he's going possibly in the direction of where Zion is. Exactly, yeah. Setting up for that possibly. Mm-hmm. Which would, which be, would cool. be really cool if we see them again and like, you know, maybe they show up to where Freer and Fern and mm-hmm. Stark are and maybe they're in trouble and then they show up as yeah. a duo and I, just fucking clean house. I also love this guy, how he... He, like, almost has, like, a, the free run mindset of, like, how free run w- was before she started, like, making relationships with all these humans. Because he's, like, like, he's, like, close, like, less than a day away, seemingly, from a place where free run is. And instead of being, like, oh, since a day means nothing to me, I can go over and say hi. Instead, he's, like, uh, I'll see her when I see her, because we'll both just be around for a long time, you know? Like, he... He, I, uh, didn't, I don't see that as more like Free Ren before she was thinking about all this stuff. I don't see how... I, I think it's the opposite. I think that he's mm. sort of a, a more... He is more detached, but not in an apathetic way. Like, Free Ren was so disinterested because she didn't understand or have a concept for it. I think the difference between pre-Free Ren and current Craft is that Craft does understand the passage of time and has kind of made peace with it like a monk, like a mm. priest, has kind of made peace with the nature of the world, understands his place in it, and wants to, you know, make it work for him or, or you know, understand the deepest parts of it. And I think that's why he's going to, or he wanted to go to heaven or mm. just live the best life that he wants to live so that he can go to heaven and live, you know, eternal bliss or whatever and uh, be reunited with his friends. So he's, I, I feel like he is a more, he's like a more uh, advanced version of what Free Ren is kind of doing. But he's because he's so much older, and he's said to be so much older, he probably had his own Fern and Stark. He had his own Himmel of his best friend, and then he had, I imagine he probably had a number of Ferns and Starks throughout mm-hmm. his lifetime. Uh, if he's like thousands and thousands of years old, and like, you know, uh, so he's so he's had those experiences, and I think that that's, that's kind of what I see from him, Is but he's... The strength of him is that he comes off as more apathetic, but he actually has a deeper understanding of that sacrifice and that and that way of life, I think. And that's kind of the vibe I get from him, is that he's ca- sort of come up the other side of all of these really tragic circumstances and is kind of carrying that with him mm. um, and not letting it just completely ruin how he sees, like, the beauty of the world, along with, you know, people like Yubel ruining how he sees the beauty of the world. Like, he see, you know, he, he'll do what he can in the moment, and not worry about saving because at one point he was like a world saving badass, but now he has to, you know, live humbly or he doesn't have to. He could do all the stuff, but it's probably pretty torturous to have that weight on your shoulders all the time. And just, he, he I think part of his character is that he also has the faith, has faith in the future um, because of, because of his lifetime and because, you know, he didn't have to defeat the Demon King. When when Free Ren was a, was an adventurer a hundred mm-hmm. or so years ago, he was able to do it. <clears throat> Or he was able to sit back and then Free Run's able to do it. There's always a next step. There's always a next generation. This is kind of just how life is and there's always going to be death and struggle and whatever, but it is also the world. I think that's kind of the idea that he, uh, but there's also beauty in it, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's mm-hmm. kind of the ideals that he embodies in the story and that's why his personality, I think his personality when we first met him in that cabin was a lot more uh, emblematic of that, and then we've seen we've seen. This is the first time we've really seen him, haven't we? Or have we seen yeah, him another time? We, we seen saw him. the statue and heard about him and talked about him, and uh, and this is the first time we've seen him. And this time it's a lot more grim, just because of the nature of who he's interacting with. Yeah. But uh, I think you know, I, I get the idea that it's more than just apathy with him, like it was for Free Run before. Personally, that's mm-hmm. my interpret. That's kind of my analysis of his whole character, and that's why I'm very interested to see you know, how he will interact with uh, Free Ren after, you know, some more, maybe some more suffering will happen. Maybe they'll get injured or, you know, maybe Stark will die or maybe Fern will get fucking hurt or something or, or you know, whatever. Maybe Free Ren will, will experience some kind of crazy tragedy mm-hmm. um, that, like, has her questioning this whole journey that she's on or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I feel like uh, Kraft will have a, a role to play in Free Ren's kind of next level understanding probably mm-hmm. but a really good episode yeah w like episode it. i also just love how the <laughs> i love free run's idea of like oh i don't need to get certified for stuff because it's just like too much of a nuisance and it'll just expire soon anyway but then it, it's so funny to me because 
I ju it's funny because it's like, oh, Fern, you can get certified because it will last your entire life. Even though, but because because Freeran lives for so long, she's like, no, I won't get certified because even though it will last, you know, probably for longer, like, you know, like, if this certification will last for the next 80 years, it would probably last for the next, like, 200 years, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, Freeran's just like, no, because it will eventually expire in an indeterminate amount of time. Yeah. Uh, it's not worth it, even though for Fern, it will be useful for a lot less amount of time than it would for free run, but because it's such a smaller percentage of free runs, li and, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but I, f I just feel like it's funny how she's like, yes, Fern, you need to like waste your life like doing do, getting this certification, even though for me, it would take almost nothing and like zero of my time, but still it is too much of a burden for me. Well, for to have Fern, to... it's like a PhD. Yeah. And for free run, it's like a driving test that yeah. she needs to retake or like her passport. Mm -hmm. Like it's basically, it's more like her passport that she needs to get she needs renewed to get every five to 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, she needs to go to fucking wait in line and go, you know, like all this stuff, like go through the hassle of doing mm -hmm. this and it's not, it's going to expire eventually anyway. So I'll be able to use it this one time. And then am I going to be going to the undying <laughs> lands every, every 200 years? I mean, God, it'll probably be 400 years before I go again. Then I'll have to take the test again. So annoying. Yeah. But for Fern, it's just like, no, this could really open up some doors for you. <laughs> Fern, this could like take your career to a whole new yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. You can I really settle that. down, so you know, funny. you'll have enough. <laughs> uh, excellent. Anything <laughs> else you want to say? No. Nope. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. I'm Carson. And Lindsay. Bye-bye.